I'm gambling, right? So I'm just <laughs> holding it. I'm holding it over the weekend. Maybe I'll get a gap up. Maybe I won't. But it's just an example of how I, I was able to anticipate an entry and just stuck to the plan and got a nice pop. Um, I'd like to kind of go over this trade because this was like a really what I would consider like a, a very like well executed trade that you did. Um, could you maybe kind of like walk us through your thought process on this one? Okay, just load it up. This is uh, OPGN, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. So uh, let's see. It, it would be easier for me if I could share my my screen. Um, yeah. Okay, so we got share screen. We need like an IT department here for these. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> let's see this one this one oh, all right did it perfect did it work man i haven't yeah, seen stocks perfect. to trade for so long it's so clean yeah i'm <laughs> you know stocks to trade i've i've stuck with this platform since the very beginning but uh i am bummed that they got rid of their twitter uh their twitter scanner i think it was called ah uh, yep dude that was that was great i miss it yeah, i wish meant, yeah especially oh, well. for long um, that has to be huge yeah, because a lot of times, I mean, uh, news can sometimes take a little bit to pop up and yep. see it, right? And it's like with the Twitter yep. scanner, I, it just was like immediate. But anyways, let's go over this OPGN trade. So the the main, the very beginning, right, is this day here, uh, October 29th. You see I had this gap up. Okay, so that was, whenever I say beginning, it's like this is um, the start of of watching uh, the stock because something significant happens. Oh no, stocks of trade, don't fail me like this. <laughs> oh shit, Tim Sykes is going to ask us to edit it out. <laughs> Bro, what the, oh come on, stocks of trade, please. Okay, yeah, so it was this day here, right? Now, it looks insane, right? It looks huge and insane. Now, of course, once you... Uh, back up it's like oh that's a small little pop right it's like this move was just an absurd uh yeah so i had this little pop here and whenever a stock does you know has news and it pops up like this i mean that's just i'm gonna be watching it for basically as long as it can hold those gains i'll be watching it and i mean as you can see it held those gains pretty well and it consolidated at this kind of I would say around a 40 cent average over over the period of this like two week period here. And so what I'm looking for is I'm a, I'm a big like symmetric triangle person. So as you can see, it's making this triangle pattern. And what I've noticed recently is these really kind of low price stocks they are popping and then days later or even weeks later, they're having these secondary moves where they'll test the highs um, and potentially break out over this original move. But the reason why I'm watching it again is because just the fact that it had this initial pop here, that is why I am aware of it and watching it. Um, and then on this day, uh, on this day here, funny, thing about this day i actually let me see here so now i gotta change my view a bit but i actually bought um like seventy five thousand shares at uh come back oh yeah so I had a ton of shares uh, either on this day or the day before. I was trying to time it is what I'm trying to say. I was trying to time it, but it just never. And that's back in the day, it, I felt like more things would pop during the market hours where I could get in. And then during the live trading hours, it would give me the initial kind of start. And now I'm kind of seeing a trend where it's either happening after hours or pre-market, which makes it much more frustrating. Uh, it just, everything is harder to time as pretty much. Uh, but anyways, so I wasn't in it in after hours, but then I saw it, saw it popping up. Now the key, uh, there is another key before this and the key is S E C O. So 
I noticed that this stock on that exact same day, it had this had a little perk uh, before close, and then it just started flying. And this had already happened, and so I was aware uh, that these penny stocks, these kind of low price stocks, are doing insane things right now. So yeah. I can be a bit more aggressive. And then yeah. I thought of, I just started thinking, okay, what other low price stocks are kind of uh, holding gains that might have a secondary move? And OPGN uh, just came to my mind. So I pulled the stock up. And as I pulled it up, I started to see volume pushing up uh, into, into this 40 level. And I was, I didn't even think i didn't even it was just like a reaction i just quickly twenty thousand shares boom 45 limit and i got filled at 42 uh for twenty thousand shares i was probably risking 38 and it just started taking off and at that point I, you know scco just went so crazy i was like i am gonna just have some patience on this and try to get like 250 or something like that um uh, now I probably should. I mean, I probably should have just sold it in the twos, right? I, I, I mean, realistically, I don't even like that I held it as long as I held it, and I got extremely fortunate that it gapped up the next morning, uh, because when you see something go from two forty down to a one, you're like, uh, did I just lose like? I mean, did I just lose like thirty thousand dollars in profits? I was kind of freaking out, but. Uh, but I got lucky and it gapped up and I didn't, you know, it's like, it's at three, it hit my profit target. I didn't wait around. I just sold it as soon as I got up. Dan, is liquidity ever an issue for you? Like in these after hours times, like, is it ever tough for you to actually get to your full position size or like determine your risk, like like getting out if it doesn't work? Yeah. Well, the thing is about these after hours plays is, uh, I don't do them very often. It's kind of, it's kind of rare that I do them, but if I do do them, it's because it's really hot. There's a lot of liquidity coming in. Like I, as yeah. you can see, this was so liquid, like my 20,000 yeah. shares compared to how liquid this was, was right. like nothing. So it just, it depends on the play. If this was more illiquid, I would have just taken like, you know, 5,000 shares maybe. Right. Uh, and actually, uh, so this play here, Stocks to Trade is, is very slow this morning. Hmm. Uh, so L over LMFA. So if you look at this, it kind of fits my criteria of it is a big former runner and it is down a ton. And it's one of those stocks that is in that was in that 40 cent range. Uh, and for whatever reason, just all these low price stocks are just having bounces. Uh, what I saw was this. I again, I just if I can find some consolidation where it's starting to. I think this is actually more of a channel. Really, it's not really a symmetric. It's more like a descending channel, but it's horizontal. It's found support, and my thought process was it could break out of that and become an, another big gapper, another big runner. Uh, so this is an example of a play where. I anticipated it. I bought 25,000 shares at 46. I did get some movement up and my plan was to just risk 40. And I, I'm still in it now. So it had some nice volume come in. Debatably, I could have locked it up. I mean, in the 70s for like $8,000, but I'm just, I'm gambling, right? So I'm just <laughs> holding it. I'm holding it over the weekend. Maybe I'll get a gap up. Maybe I won't. But it's just an example of how I, I was able to anticipate an entry and just stuck to the plan and got a nice pop. Very Makes nice. sense. I think, I think the big thing to understand here, Dan, mm -hmm. is that you first noticed that SECO, low price stock, 40 cent stock, start to go crazy. And then immediately what came to your mind was, all right, because this theme, this theme of penny stocks of 40 cents are running like crazy. I'm going to look around to find the same type of theme that the chart pattern is setting up properly. So I think that's something that's really key is that you wait for that sector or that theme to come into play. And then once that theme confirms, that's when you start looking for all these other plays, correct? 
Yeah, for sure. And actually, the reason why SCCO ran like that is probably because of TPST. So this was really the big runner that started everything as far as a lot more momentum. You know, once people saw this, they got hungry for some more plays like that. And uh, this was a this was a great one. 